Hello and welcome to my page. I'm Mr. Tie-Dye and today I was inspired to do a double spider design. It's one I've played with before and done tapestries and stuff, but I haven't done a video. So, got a clean tea that has been washed and, or pre-washed, soaked in soda ash, spun out, turned inside, so it's just barely damp right now. And I also have found my center lines. Uh, through centering the t-shirt I found the middle of the T so what I'm going to do to start with is just draw myself a guideline on here so just using that mark on the top and the bottom of the t-shirt draw down the center and then from there I want to make two lines and I decided I wanted to do mine about six inches apart and that's the width of one of these things. You can also just measure three inches over and three inches over and draw two lines. But since I have this thing, I'm just going to use it to draw my lines. So I centered this up in the middle here. And now I'm drawing two more lines. These lines are six inches apart. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do, turn this sideways, make sure you can see those lines. Okay, I'm going to pick up the lines. So this first one, I'm picking it up, laying it back there. The second one, I'm carefully picking it up, not disturbing that first line. And the center line, that, that one was just for guides, so we're ignoring that. We're doing the two outer lines now. So I'm picking that one up, and now I'm laying those two lines, the outer lines, right on top of each other here. And then just sh kind of shake that out a little bit. If you pick it up and hold it to the light, you can kind of see if there's any creases in there. You can also lay it down flat and feel. So you can tuck anything in that you need to. And you can make this as wide as you want. I just chose six inches just because, but you can choose however much of a distance. And sometimes it's going to depend on how big your t-shirt is as to how much space that you have to work with. So anyway, and then what I like to do, tuck my sleeves into each other. I should have done that before, but I'm going to use, I use these binder clips all the time just to kind of hold things in place when I'm moving the t-shirt around. They do come in quite handy and they come in various sizes. You can get a whole bag of them for pretty cheap. So just because I'm going to do the spider just on the front, since it's a double spider, I'm doing the spider just on the front of the T, not on the back of the T. So I want my sleeves tucked together. That's just my own personal preference. And if you guys want to do the double spider on the front and the back, I've done that before, you can do it. But I am choosing this way. So I like to tuck my sleeves in together just so that when I'm wrapping the t-shirt up, the sleeves are kind of tucked together in the whole process here of gathering. Okay, so now let me flip this over. I'm going to take my clips off. And then usually where I start my spider is just under the armpit and I can see the bottom of my tee right here so I'm just going to go straight out right from there. Pinch both I got two areas there, so I'm pinching both of those, and then I am twisting going down the t-shirt. And from my spider video, uh, the mystical, magical spider, uh, you can see that you can twist up or down, and that's just going to turn the spider design upside down or right side up, whichever way you look at it. This is just my preference. So I'm just going to tie this up, and I'm making sure that I kind of keep these folds together here just so that I keep my spider shape the same. That's just going to make it more symmetrical. If you separate these two lines here then your spiders are going to be just a little bit different. 
so I just try to get those just as even as I can and if I can smooth out these creases as much as I can and also I kind of pull out from the center here and try to create more of these creases all of those creases I just want to wrap around because when we're doing the spider these creases are what turn out to be the legs so if you can have more of those in there then you're just going to have more legs on your spider and now here's where my sleeves they're kind of tucked together here I'm just going to kind of flatten those out as much as I can and then just lay them down beside each other here so it's just a matter of working with it and the more that you work with straightening and flattening and adjusting the T the better your design is going to come out you don't want to try and do that all on the very first time you do it sometimes you got to see what you get and then you can go back and make adjustments and just tweak it a little bit here and there okay so there is my spider design double spider design and then I'm just gonna wrap this up with a little bit of kite string you guys could also use rubber bands or whatever else your tie-in method is mine just happens to be kite string and I will put a link I do have a link to my kite string video, how I use it and sinew, down in the description box. Also the centering of the T, there's a link to that down in the description box. And the more that you can kind of keep these folds all laid out nice and neat here, the better your spider design is going to come out. If you flop your lines over top of each other, then you don't get quite as nice of a detail. So just spend a little bit of time just kind of adjusting your folds in there. Okay, there's the double spider design. I'll get some gloves on. We'll put some dye on that. Okay, time to get some dye put on this thing. So I'm going to use three colors here just because I like to do some layering of colors. So I'm going to put some bluebird down to start with and I'm just going to dye this whole side in bluebird okay this side I'm going to dye with bright green okay and last but not least I'm going to put black I'm just going to put just a light coat so I did a heavy coat of the bluebird I did a heavy coat of the bright green and now I'm just going to do a lighter coat of the black still enough you want to make sure you coat the whole thing but I'm not going to really soak it like I did with the other two colors this one here I just want to have the spider show up and what it's going to do is have then a little bit of fuzzy green on the edges of the spider because the green is down underneath and then the black is going in the middle so anyways they're on top I'm going to go ahead and batch this for 48 hours. I'm going to let it sit this way for just a couple minutes to let that black soak in and then I'm going to flip it over in my tub and batch it with the black side down. But for now I want that black to soak in just a little bit. So thanks for watching. I'll have the results for you in about two seconds. Hello and welcome to Hippie Christmas with Mr. Tie-Dye. So let's get this thing opened up. It's been batching for few days I think I left it an extra day just because I didn't have anything else to wash with it but we're gonna get this thing opened up and see what we have so this here was the blue side and this was the side that I dyed green and then put black over top so I can see the colors down in there so let's get this thing opened up there's my double spider so I can see my green in there the black has overtaken some of it but once I wash this I think we'll get a little bit more detail to come out but for now I think the double spider was a success and I'm gonna go get this finished rinsing washing and I'll have the results for you in about two seconds peace thank you for watching